One seemingly perennial issue uh, came up again during the 2008 legislative session, and that is gay marriage. Should the state take action on this matter? And please explain. And I guess you're first. Uh, the government should not be defining uh, religious sentiment. Uh, people can be married as long as they want to according to uh, government standards. I don't think that's what the church preaches. I believe the church teaches us a lifetime commitment. Uh, it is already illegal for uh, gay marriage to take place in the state, and I don't believe the state should be getting involved in my personal religious beliefs. Terry and I agree um, diametrically on this without question. I believe absolutely that Indiana needs a constitutional amendment to define marriage as between one man and one woman. I think this is, I think that the, the, the biblical teachings, which, which I believe in, um, dictate this. We do have that in state law, but what we see all over the country and, and our courts in Indiana are becoming more liberal as well, is that courts all over the country, when this provision is only in state law, it's being overturned, and that's when you're seeing gay marriage, which I think is very, very destructive to family life in this country. So I think that Indiana needs to step up to the plate. My constituents overwhelmingly support my view on this and pass a constitutional amendment to define marriage as between one man and one woman so that the liberal courts that we're seeing all over the country cannot come to Indiana and have our state Supreme Court do the same thing. The only thing I would suggest is that um, on this issue, I just have a very difficult time when uh, religious gets uh, religious issues get into uh, political, and political gets into religion. And uh, I've always been a huge proponent of uh, church and state uh, being separate, uh, and uh, I still would uh, uh, disagree on that particular issue, respectfully. Anything further on that issue? Um, 